So you got these symptoms, you started an anti-candida diet or a special diet, and you're thinking, how do I know if this diet is working? If that's you, then I have a little something to share today that I think will help. Hi everybody, I'm Ricky Heller from rickyheller.com and I'm a healthy food coach. And I um, wanna talk to you about how can you know if your diet is working? Hey Kim, so um, I had somebody ask me this question when they joined my um, Facebook group, Food Restrictions Made Easy. How do you know if the diet is working? And the first question I would ask you to think about in that case is, how did you know back way back then when you started, how did you know you needed it in the first place, right? Because, well, let me, I'll tell you a little bit about my story. I had for years, and I would even say for decades, hey Kim, um, I would even say for decades that I had these symptoms that were like these little niggly symptoms that sort of lived on and I kept them in the background of my consciousness. And I just thought, sorry about this horrible glare in my glasses. Anyway, I just thought, you know, this is life. This is This is what normal life is like. We don't always feel great. Sometimes we feel crappy. And I might have had um, over the years, you know, I had recurrent infections. I had, um, I was diagnosed with blepharitis and dry eye. And then suddenly out of the blue one day, I had to do compresses and cleanse my eyes twice a day. And I couldn't wear eye makeup. And I just thought, well, these things happen. I guess I'm going to have to live with it, right? And I, and I went on. And then I had rashes. And then I had sinus problems, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Until finally it came to a head and there was this crisis moment where I said, I got to get some help here. I've got to do something differently. And so I think for so many people, that's what happens is that we just assume that um, our lives are meant, to, you know, after a certain age, we're just meant to feel not so great. And we walk around and we accept the fact that it can be a subpar existence. And when the symptoms get so bad, then you go and you see a doctor or a holistic practitioner or you start a diet or something to try to alleviate those symptoms. And you go on the diet, you stay on the diet for maybe a week and you think nothing's different. I guess it's not working or maybe two weeks. And then you think nothing's different. I guess it's not working. So what I want to help you to see is that there are a couple of things, but before I even talk about how can you tell if it's working, one thing that I think for everybody that's so important to remember is these things take time. So we need to be patient with ourselves and we need to understand that, you know, like in my case, if it took 40 years for these symptoms to fully blossom in my body, it isn't going to be just a week or two before they're gone, right? So that's the first thing to really understand that when, especially if you're using natural and holistic methods, it takes longer than chemical uh, pills and prescriptions for you to heal. But that doesn't mean things are not getting better. So in my case, what happened was I followed this diet perfectly for six months. And then suddenly one day I thought, oh my God, now I feel better. And I, when I think about it and I, when I tell the story, I often say it took six months for me to get better. But that's technically not true. It's just that I was not aware of these minute incremental changes. And so if you want to check out whether something is actually working, the first thing to do is to become much more tuned in to what's going on with your body and your symptoms. And when I work with people one-on-one, -on -one, when I work in my group programs, there are a couple of things that I can share with you that we do, and we do more than this, but I, a couple of things I wanna share with you that I think are really helpful that can help you to recognize your progress even when it may not feel like it day to day. So the first thing is to actually literally track your symptoms. When I work with people one-on-one, uh, -on -one, the first thing we do is we generate a list of what are the symptoms that that person has and where would they place that symptom on a scale of one to 10 for severity. So like in my case, I would have put down my rash on my chest. I would have put down sinus issues. I would have put down swollen eyelids. I would have put down um, athlete's foot. I would have put down fungal toenails. I, got, I had it all, folks. <laughs> so I would have had this list. And then I would have graded them one to 10. So my rash would have been an 11. <laughs> um, but you know, the other thing somewhere between one and 10. And what you do is you go about your business, follow your diet, follow your protocol. And a month later, you check in again and give it another score. And I think for a lot of people, when they're looking at, at it that far apart, they're going to recognize differences 
that they wouldn't normally notice. So if I think today, how different am, am I from yesterday? I'm not really going to notice. And that's why I could go six months and feel like nothing was changing. And then suddenly when things were truly cleared up compared to the beginning, I noticed a difference. But if I had kept track more consistently, I would have been able to see that difference happening because that's how healing works. It's slow, it's incremental, and you need to be patient and you need to be gentle with yourself as you go through. And if you're feeling discouraged, that's a great way for you to see the changes. The second thing I would recommend is to maybe pick one day a week and ask yourself, how much of today was I feeling great? And if you're not at the point where you're ever feeling great, because like, again, for me, I would say for the first six months or beyond, I would say there was never a point where I was feeling great. So then where were you feeling functional? Where were you feeling good? Um, if yesterday you couldn't get out of bed at all, and today you got up and you made yourself a cup of coffee, or no, we don't have coffee on the anti-candida diet, so maybe you made yourself a cup of matcha tea, then that's something to celebrate. So I would look at that and maybe once a week check in and say, how much of today was I able to feel good and do things that maybe I couldn't do last week? Um, I had a client who literally couldn't get out of bed for the first three months. And then um, by the end, she was off camping with her family. So there were changes that happened between those two ends of the spectrum. Um, maybe today you were able to like focus on work and do some writing. I remember when I was all foggy brained and the first time I was able to sit down and concentrate enough to create something that um, I could share with my audience and I was thrilled, right? So that would have been a difference from that week compared to the previous week. So you want to check in once a week. So I think those are two things that you can do, two actions you can take that will really help you to see your progress, even when sometimes it doesn't feel like we're having progress in this journey because it's a long journey. And as one of my clients said today, you know, it takes time and people have to understand that healing takes time. And so that's what I would tell, tell you. One is track and two is check in once a week in terms of how much of your day, maybe a percentage of your day or think about in terms of how many minutes, how many hours were you feeling better? Were you feeling okay? And you're going to notice that that number increases over time. So that's what I would suggest. I hope that's helpful. If it is, please let me know. Um, like this post, uh, leave a comment and let me know what you think. And also, if you have any topics you'd like me to share over time, um, I always check back here. So please let me know that as well. And I will work them into Facebook Lives in the future. If you want to get more videos like this and you want to be the first to know when they come out, please subscribe to my weekly newsletter. It comes out every Sunday. You get um, links to videos, information, articles, and recipes, and they're all free of gluten, sugar, eggs, and dairy. And that's at rickyheller.com forward slash subscribe. Okay, everybody, I hope you have a great evening and I'll see you next time. Take care.